we have come here today for a very solemn occasion. And I'm happy that uh, this function has been arranged to take place here at KICC. As my colleague Stephen Kalonzo Musioka said, we are at a crossroads as a country. And times like this requires leadership, the country to move forward. <coughs> What we are doing today is a culmination of a process that began sometime last year when President Lucy Gunabasanjo came to mediate and the conflict that was raging on at that time. We agreed when we sat together, myself and Brother William Ruto, that we would follow the route of dialogue. And that is the reason why NADCO was set up. NADCO then proceeded to dialogue and ended up with a very voluminous report which has contained some very fundamental recommendations. This bill that has now been signed into the law today is just one of those. But the NADCO report contains very many issues which are at the heart of the people of Kenya today. If you see the issues which are being raised by our youth, most of them are correctly contained in the NADCO report. But if this NADCO report is implemented fully, you'll be able to address all those issues which these young people are raising. We are, as I've said, at um, a very, very crucial juncture in the history of our country. Our country has moved forward there have been highs and lows in our history of 61 years. We need to move forward. And I want to say, that, you know, at this moment in time, my brother, that we require now a wider engagement, an opportunity to vomit all that is there in the chest in order that we can be able to find a way forward. I therefore want to support the proposal of my brother Stephen Colonel Sioka that we have this conversation. It may not take more than two weeks, but it brings all the stakeholders together. Today, our society is fairly stratified. There is 70% of our population is below the age of 35, the youth. If you say that between 35 and 18 constitute about 40%, we need that 40% to be present when this dialogue is taking place. And then the rest can feel the rest. And then we just talk about the Kenya we want. The Kenya we want con convention. Out of that will come out recommendations that will help us to dissolve this issue once and for all. And that will be my proposal, Excellency. I think that uh, Kenya deserves better. The issues of employment, the issues of discrimination, the issues of corruption, the issues of gender, uh, and so on, are issues that need to be addressed in a wider forum. 
I think that it is possible to do. It is possible if there is a will to do it. And then here again, the IBC is a very important institution. It's not the first time we have had issues with IBC. If we find a solution to this issue of IBC, it will be, will be on the way to resolving very many issues in our country. You will remember last, in the last elections, the whole world was stunned when we saw an electoral commission that was completely divided. Some saying one thing, others saying one thing. You may be happy that, oh, the, the other group ruled in my favor. But what example are we showing the world as a country? That in the process of very important exercise, the, the commission is divided. Nobody knows whom to believe up to today. It is a shame on us. And we are sure that we have got men and women here in this country who can actually do a better job. And that will help to unify this country. Last year, two, two year we lost 75 precious lives. This year we lost another 40, over 40 lives. To say nothing about those who have been wounded, have been hurt. We must prevent this from happening in our country. We should not allow this to continue happening cyclically. Let us find a lasting solution to this problem. We are ready to engage so that we find a solution to this problem. As does Mule of Kenya.